uh, today's topic is to uh, discuss about how to get meeting participants information or meeting information in bot application so for example uh, if there is any meeting schedule and if you can add bot to that meeting and you need to retrieve the meeting participants information uh, so for example the tenant users might join the meeting or some anonymous users join the meeting or some third party like a uh, federated users from other tenants right they they also join the meeting so in that cases how to get that information uh, using first of all, go through the graph api point here using the microsoft graph api uh, we have some api to get the meeting information by using join web url so for example using the chart id information right uh, you can get the uh, join url and uh, from the join URL, using the join URL, uh, you can call this particular graph API, uh, graph api.microsoft.com online meetings, filtered by uh, using join URL. So you can just pass your meeting uh, join URL uh, so that you get information like this format, like oh, who is the organizer, uh, who is the uh, attendees, the remaining information, right? All that information, it comes under your uh, response. Uh, but yeah, this will not uh, list out the information of uh, anonymous users and other users. And also, this particular API has some limitation. So for example, this filtration with join URL, right? It works with the, uh, it works with only, uh, it, it works only with the organizer account. It will not work with the participants. So, for example, if you uh, try to call this graph API with uh, uh, participants uh, delegated permissions, right? Then this API is not uh, returning the results. It's throwing a forbidden error. So uh, this so this API is not uh, helping in all scenarios uh, to get that uh, meeting participants information. So I, I will go through the, uh, th there are some uh, uh, existing GitHub samples available to get that information, but it's just a, you need to mix two different applications to uh, meet the uh, required functionality. So I will go through the sample and also create one meeting information. So I just creating one meeting here. And then. account so i'm just creating one uh, teams meeting now so this may 17 meeting right so i just created one meeting so by default it's a, by creating the meeting uh, you will not able to get it but you need to add your bot application to the meeting so for example i'm just clicking on manage apps so that i can upload oh, currently i'm uploading side loading the app using this upload a custom app but you can install using more apps if your app is available in app store so i'm just clicking on uh, upload a custom app so once i uh, this is a uh, not tab application actually the name is debating but uh, uh, this is having a bot application and once you install a uh, bot to your meeting, uh, immediately it hits on conversation update method in your uh, bot. So, so for example, this is my bot application. So here the, we have this on conversation update method. So whenever the bot is installed, so it's like a bot is adding to the existing conversation. So that's why uh, it hits to it hits this on conversation update method. And uh, in that method, uh, you can get your conversation me members. So for example, this is on conversation members information. So let me just some breakpoint. And because from on conversation update method, I'm calling this get conversation member method. Yeah, so this is the information, right? So you get the, all the uh, member information here. See here. Uh, I'm just listing out. Uh, this is the uh, John Doe account which I um, created uh, and also the other participant, other user, right? Uh, other user invited to that meeting. It's not actually uh, uh, actual attendees of that meeting. It only gives the list of users who are invited to that meeting from that particular tenant. 
so you will get that information here so uh, you got that uh, meeting invite information those two members information here so in the same way for example if i join the same meeting uh, uh, using any anonymous user even that case it will work but uh, yeah this is on conversation update method right so it, it just gets information on installing the bot but uh, maybe before uh, meeting started you might add the a bot application to your uh, meeting so how to get that information uh, how to get that information when the meeting was started so for example i'm just clicking on join Uh, so this particular uh, meeting is started now and if you see it, uh, in the code I have one method called on meeting start event. So this sort meeting start event right? this method will trigger whenever the meeting is started with because the bot is already part of that meeting. It's already added. That's why bot will listen to that event. Whenever the meeting, when the first participants joins the meeting, uh, this method will behave. And if you call this get the conversation members right uh, method in your that, so you again will be able to get that uh, meeting uh, uh, conversation members information. See here again, you will get the uh, same two uses information here. So this is the one account which I just show, and this is another account which I just show. So you get this information on on teams meeting start how to implement this on teams meeting start uh, i will uh, let you know those details uh, further um, but uh, let me join the meeting as a uh, anonymous user let me just let me just copy the meeting id copy link I'm just joining in the browser. So I'm just giving my name because uh, I'm joining as an anonymous user here. And then uh, immediately it will hit this method. Uh, the reason is uh, on conversation update method will hit again. Let me just continue the previous one. Yeah, so on conversation update method is hit again because the new member who is not part of the invite, like anonymous user joins the meeting. That means the conversation will get updated. So new member is added to the conversation. So that's why uh, you get this method. And in this get on conversation members again, uh, you will be able to get this even in this anonymous user information in your bot application. So if you see the uh, member information here, it, the count is changed to three. So for example, this is my third account, uh, the guest account which I just added, right? You also get the user role anonymous. So you will be able to get that information. So it actually keeps the actual invitees of that meeting and also uh, whenever the external or anonymous users joins the meeting, right? You can get that information using this uh, uh, conversation start get term or conversation members method. So this helps to get that. Uh, let me just continue. So and uh, in this approach, what actually we need to implement? So this can get conversation members is just a uh, normal uh, bot methods using bot app, uh, app ID secret. You will be able to get this members information. Uh, this is straightforward and uh, on conversation update uh, event is also like a whenever you implement any bot applications. This is method is common uh, whenever the member is added. You will get this method hit and you can get the required information here, but uh, to call this on teams meeting start right you actually need to uh, you actually need to write a uh, uh, separate code for that so for example in the manifest.json uh, you need to add uh, one of the rsc permission resource specific consent permissions 
online meeting dot read basic dot chart. So if you add this web application info and add this application permissions, right? Uh, whenever the bot is added, then these permissions will be granted uh, to that bot. So that's why whenever the new conversation member is added or not only conversation member, whenever the meeting is started, right? So this application will be able to read through that information uh, and then it will be able to hit this on Teams meeting start. So to uh, get this event hit, uh, you need to add this permission specifically and add this web application info section majorly uh, and then uh, this method will be hit and you will be able to get it. So uh, the samples perspective, right? So I just uh, give this uh, documentation references in the video description. So this is the uh, first method like uh, on Teams meeting start, uh, which I was talking about. Uh, this is to uh, invoke when Teams meeting start event activity is received from the connector. So and the sample perspective, this is the uh, meeting events sample like uh, uh, for the same on meeting start, right? Uh, so if you want to see the application, see the sample, uh, then this meeting events sample will be helpful. Uh, it contains code about, uh, for example, if you want to go through uh, manifest, uh, manifest section, and also if you want to go through the code perspective, right? So this is the sample on Teams meeting start. So this is a method. Uh, the other sample, uh, this is about Teams meeting uh, start event and the other sample which I was talking about to get this conversation members and method, right? So there is an existing sample called meeting recruitment Apple in uh, meeting recruitment app in uh, GitHub samples and um, uh, Microsoft uh, Teams app samples. So in this uh, sample you can get uh, reference to how to get the conversation members of that particular uh, meeting and uh, how to uh, call this method and uh, for this sample, right? You can actually use this sample. So that is more about uh, that and this is the documentation related to get real time events meeting API. So which I was talking about uh, same on meeting start uh, event. So it just explains the description. Uh, that is more about uh that is more about uh meeting but uh, participants information so overall right so whenever uh you cannot get the actual meeting attendees report while the meeting is going on once the meeting is concluded there are some graph apis to get the attendance report of that meeting but if you want to get uh, participants information while the meeting is going on, for example, if you want to use that meeting participant information in any uh, meeting tab application or site panel applications, right? You can actually get this information using the bot uh, and you can save, maybe you can save it to your backend system and use that reference from the tab application. That's an option here. So to get that information, uh, this is the sample uh, with on Teams meeting start event on conversation update method. You can get actual conversation members and use in that application. Uh, so this is the way. This is one of the option, but it also has uh, one drawback. Not feasible. It's not feasible in all scenarios. I will tell you the why. Uh, I will tell you why. Uh, here, right? We are adding web application info with online meeting read basic chart. This is a RSC permission, resource specific consent permissions. So if you add these permissions and uh, if your plan is to add this application into your team's meetings uh, programmatically. So for example, if you instead of uh, going to the meeting uh, and then adding apps, right? So for example, if you go to this manage apps and add app here. So instead of that, you want to add the app programmatically using the graph API, you want to install the app to meeting. Then this uh, option, this solution will not work because if you are using a graph API uh, background job to install, right? Then RSC permissions will not be granted. That's why uh, you will not able to add uh, RSC permissions uh, granted app programmatically. So you will not able to uh, uh, use this and then again in that case you will not able to uh, get this on teams meeting start event. So that is the drawback here. So for, uh, not only for this uh, online meeting read basic chart application, but any application permissions, any RSC permissions you add to manifest, right? 
Uh, so for those type of applications, you cannot install app to meeting or channel, uh, uh, right? You cannot install it programmatically using the Graph API. So that's not feasible. Yeah, that's all right.